Eric, Lawrence, cast off. The gangster boss wants his loan back. Jack, perhaps you ought to wind down a peg or two. We've got a visitor. Joe Little, from the Royal... Sure, from the Royal Port Police. Uh, no, Jack, he's... Let me handle this. I know all there is about dealing with these guys. Famous last words. Listen, little Joe. Joe Little. Just because we've moored here for a few days without paying, and simply because we've unloaded our cargo at night without declaring it, that's certainly no reason to act like such a big shot. We've got bigger problems to solve, and time is short. So, how much do you want? Two pounds? Three? Boys, how about taking a second to pull up? Jack, he's... Joseph Little from the Royal Secret Service. Oh. To be quiet, Frank, I had a lucrative mission for you, but I'll have to think that idea over again very carefully. Mission? Lucrative? Word has it that you're the fastest captain on the London-India route. Uh, sure. Right you are. That's me. Even though you do tend to <laughs> lose your cargo rather frequently. But like you said, I am fast. And that's what we're looking for. The Queen wishes to have one of her best agents brought to an island in the Indian Ocean. The pay is £10,000 sterling to compensate for passage. Ten? Thousand? Wow. What exactly was the name of that island your agent's supposed to be brought to? It is called Tooth Island. Hardly anybody knows the island's coordinates, and even fewer are welcome there. Strange. That name seems to ring a bell. Whatever. At any rate, we've got to clear out of London, now. Now, Jack, don't be a bleeding idiot. You're in awk to that cutthroat up to your ears. You'd be better off here where you can straighten that out. We can't keep running away forever. There you go. Solve your problems in London first. Those tough guys are not just going to leave us in peace. Are you nuts? The further we are from our problems, the better. So, where is this agent we're supposed to take aboard? You would not be taking him aboard here. That would occur halfway along the route instead, in South Africa. Fine, we're in. Don't worry your pretty little head about that guy. Well, to be honest... We'll give him the royal treatment. Cast off, boys. But the square sail hasn't been mended at all yet. We'll do it on the way. Oh dear, this is definitely going to cost me my job. The little rat got away. Where's he off to? Look, he's left tracks behind. Tracks? Leading where? He's heading toward Cape Town. Ah, Cape Town, at last! That was one heck of a ride! Wouldn't have been half as bad if the rotten full lower topsail yard hadn't crashed down on the head. And even that wouldn't have mattered too much if we'd had a first aid chest on board like we're supposed to. Well now, don't be such a wimp, Lawrence. Me? A wimp? I wouldn't complain as much if I got paid. Lawrence is right. As long as you're not paying us anyway, the least we want is a shore leave that fits the bill. Shore leave? We're taking that agent on board. And then it's time for us to get going again. No can do, Captain. Our demand is clear cut. A bit of shore leave's got to be part of the deal. All right. But a short one, mind you. And you gotta get us something to wet our whistles. That's the ticket. Downright fun is what we want. The very least you could do is supply us with a bottle of rum for all the trouble we went to. A 
small donation for a man whom fate. Ah! Are you crazy? What deed confronts my eyes? Leave the young lady alone at once. Shut, Shut your, your trap. trap. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Shiver me timbers. Occupied. Ooh, sharp cookie. Ha! What do you mean, ha? Dear me, ha, as in, ha, another one of those down-and-out adventurers bent on trying their luck in Africa. Prove you were successful. Ha, nothing simpler than that. I was on the Canary Isles and did a fabulous business there, old chap. Prove you visited the Canaries. I do have a bottle of fine Norwegian rum here. That's proof if there ever was any. It's the basis of my not inconsiderable wealth. The natives are literally mad about this stuff. Heh! <laughs> Prove that you're wealthy. Let's see, uh, here, you take the bottle. After all, I still got hundreds of them. <laughs> now there's a man who talks turkey. Thank you very much, sir. The main thing is that you believe I truly am a successful adventurer. Help a former captain in need. A few pennies, so I... Here, take this bottle. But don't drink too much. We'll be setting sail soon. Rum! Hey, it's a start. Time for us to get going. Time for a pub crawl. And we won't be back until the funds run out. See you later, Jack. But... Oops. Now the plank is broken clean off. So much for my secret stash. Oh well, more than these 30 shillings weren't in there anyway. <laughs>